In the new book, Approaching the Tree, Interpreting First Nephi 8, published by the Maxwell Institute, we have nine gorgeous new artworks that visualize Lehi's dream in new ways. The first one is by J. Kirk Richards. It's called Pulling Up the Iron Rod. Um, This image symbolizes each person's need to lift and wrestle with and interpret the word of God. Next, we have Rose Daytok Dahl. Her piece is called A Father's Plea. Here we see Lehi offering the fruit to his sons as they stride away from him. Megan Guileman did a photographic print called Adaptations of Desire. It echoes the composition of Salvador Dali's The Accommodations of Desire, and so it taps into the visionary and subconscious aspects of Lehi's experience. And then Sarah Winnegar did a relief print called Broad of Hands and Feet. This relief print depicts women in various caretaking activities, tending babies, passing food, reaching out to others, and they follow the example of Christ who appears at the top of the image distributing fish. Hildebrando de Mello is an artist from Angola, and he did a three-piece work confronted with this series of three non-narrative images. The viewer is encouraged to engage and look closely, finding similarities and differences. Caitlin Connolly uh, contributed a pencil sketch of Lehi's dream that captures the undertones of loss and grief, as well as the promise of compassion and community in the scripture. Jose de Faria is an artist from Portugal, and in his busy scene of Lehi's dream, he plays with space and perspective and proportion, leaning into the visionary aspect of First Nephi 8. Annie Poon also did a photographic print. She's an artist in New York City. She focused on Lehi in the dark and dreary waste, which is a part of the dream that we don't often see visualized. And then finally, Kathleen Peterson painted A Father and Two Sons. It considers the relationship between Lehi and his sons. We're so excited to be able to bring these nine new artworks to BYU. They'll be on display at the Harold B. Lee Library in the Auditorium Gallery. You can join us there for an artist reception on January 19th at 3 p.m. And we'll also have a panel in the auditorium with our three co-editors of the book. Uh, We'll look forward to seeing you there.